You know, this reminds me, I had a friend once who came out of the closet and got really into choking, but I think he and 47 do it for different reasons. Hello everybody, welcome to Hitman 3, where today I'm going to show you a glow up story like no other. I'm going to tell you about how I went from a basic bitch assassin into a Chad Sigma male and the most dangerous golf caddy in India. But in order to do that, we gotta see where I came from first. Let's review the basic way through this. Enter the door with the code that the game gives you, do a courtesy coming out joke, disguise myself as a movie theater usher with bespoke suit pants, sneak into the kitchen, alert the chef to my presence immediately, dash out the side door, get in a little bit of light cardio, return to the kitchen to get my diorama of the building. As we know, any intel is good intel. From here, we take a picture of the window and airdrop it our star sign, which gets it to open up to us very easily. Knock out the guard and steal his disguise. Hop out the window and remind myself that no matter what 47X said, she can never take away that college rock climbing trophy. Airdrop that you're a tourist to another window because it's good to keep your options open. And then make multiple attempts to lure an elite guard into the bathroom where you can knock him out with a non-branded soda. As even the most inexperienced assassins know that a copyright strike is the number one cause of a botched job. Once disguised as an elite guard, head down the access corridor and take out the two maintenance workers. Because what are they gonna do? Call the union? Take the access card and head into the server room where you disable the one different server. From there, deactivate the cameras, open the elevators for a rapid escape, schedule a fake meeting for the targets, and empty out the gold vending machines, as even though we are a multi-millionaire contract killer, we still support the eating of the rich. Casually make our way up to the penthouse and enjoy the scenery because life's too short not to appreciate the little things in life. If you love what you do, you'll never work a day in your life. Once the targets are in the safe room, lock it down, completely misunderstand the definition of non-lethal and that it cannot kill someone no matter how hard you try. Except that the universe doesn't want you to do some things the fun way and just shoot them in the backs of the head. Hide the bodies and escape by side diving off the side of the building, because it's not worth doing if you can't look cool doing it. This is gonna mark a clear split in the video, okay? We did that shit the easy way, now we're gonna do it the fun way. See, I found on replaying the level that the two maintenance workers have a key to the closet in the back of this hallway which just so happens to contain an explosive golf ball. Look, I'm not gonna point fingers at anybody, but something tells me that this massive spire of gold is still paying its blue collar workers the minimum wage, which now that I think about it, I don't even know if they have that in India, but if they do, it's probably not great. After we take this back upstairs and place it in his ball bucket, I need to lure him out of the penthouse. And from listening in on the guards, I've learned that Mr. Carl Ingram is a bit of a hothead. And if there's one thing I know about crusty, rich old white men, it's that the only way they know how to unwind, besides for destabilizing the stock market and consuming their body weight in whiskey, is by practicing the drive off the top of their skyscraper while aiming at small businesses. Which honestly, that should be easy enough. I just need to follow him around and piss him off enough to get him to storm out of the penthouse, much as a Karen will do at McDonald's when they're rewarded with spit in their food after raising hell in the lobby, instead of a full refund. After ruining the sanctity of both Carl's workspaces, I quickly go to wait out front of the penthouse to escort him to the green. God damn, Carl. There is nothing I respect more than a man who's so angry that he will ruin thousands of dollars in fine Italian leather and spend the rest of the day with wet socks because someone was standing in his way. 15 years of training, a million mistakes, three different tailors, and a passionate night with pro golfer Nelly Corda have prepared me for this, the most important moment in my contract killing career. The preparations are complete, I have eyes on the target, and look fly as hell. Just need to act natural for long enough until it causes his own untimely demise. It should be right about now. Let this be a learning moment for everybody. Seeing Carl die like this teaches us all a valuable lesson. This is proof that form and technique are essential for a good swing. 
Had he not bent his elbow during his backswing, he wouldn't have blown out his knee, and probably everything else. That's one target down and a valuable lesson in golf. Wow, talk about two studs. Now we just need to take down our second target, whose name I won't even try to pronounce. But if there's one thing I know by looking at this guy for a grand total of five seconds, it's that the cap says, I still read the newspaper even though I'm extremely wealthy. But the pit vipers say, 16 is definitely old enough as long as she gets decent grades and wears a crop top. Quite the combo. Anyway, this part is super simple. Grab a crowbar, commit some light B&E to get a fuse, knock out more underpaid union members, more B&E, place the fuses in what are clearly OSHA violations, and then go follow the least threatening man in Ukraine around until he heads to the art exhibition. From here, we wait for him to metaphorically deify himself in front of the sun, and then proceed to administer a 5,000 amp vibe check through his whole body, which he will inevitably fail. From there, it's just a matter of exiting the building, leaving behind lightly seared Polak, the mangled remains of an angry old man, and two new widows. A job well done. I want to thank everybody for watching. I think that's going to wrap up the Dubai map, but I'm definitely going to be making some more Hitman 3 for a little bit. Doing single map videos in this is a format that's really working for me, as opposed to trying to do full games in one video. Uh, please remember to like, subscribe, and hit that bell, and drop me your favorite Agent 47 skin in the comments. I'll see you guys next time.